eBay dropshipping is all about converting time to money. And this is why automation is a crucial part in scaling your dropshipping business. You can automate prices, stock, you can even process your orders automatically. But what will make or break your success scaling your business? Automating your product research. If you do it right, you will experience exponential growth. And if you do it wrong, you will get wrecked. Now the question is, how you can automate your product research? This can be done with virtual assistants or with automation software such as Zeek Analytics. The latest technology breakthrough Zeek has made allows you to find thousands of items by pushing a button. And it supports the major suppliers such as AliExpress, Walmart, Amazon.com and Amazon UK. In this video, I'm going to reveal the tools and strategies for scaling your store with a product research automation software. Allow me to introduce you to the Zeek Pro features, starting with the Autopilot, the tool that will find you thousands of items in less than five minutes. The Autopilot search through a database of over 500,000 eBay sellers and compare their items to the supported suppliers. And by offering a wide set of filters, you can get the most relevant, high demand, high profit dropshipping items. Now I will show you how easy it is to use the autopilot and how fast it can find you thousands of items. So all you do is going and clicking on the new scan button. Now you start and choose your filters. First, let's give it a name. So we're gonna call it test 2022. Uh, we have different suppliers here. As I said, we support Amazon.com, Amazon UK, Walmart, and AliExpress. The first example is going to be on Amazon.com, and then I will make one example on AliExpress. You choose your sales date range. So I'm going to go here for last seven days sales, and I want to get product with at least five sales in the last seven days. So you will put here the number of minimum sales and maximum. I just hit the max button to just say maximum to not limit the max amount of sales. And then we're going to pick the competition. Let's say we want product with no more than 15 competitors and the price range. So you can choose for zero to 10, which is traffic products. And then depends on your strategy, depending on your average selling price that you target, you can choose group of products. Let's go for 20 to $40. Now return on investment is very interesting metric. This has been uh, used by a lot of big sellers who want to have more control on their profitability. So ROI, return on investment is how much profit is from the purchase price. So if the product costs on Amazon $10 and you make $3 profit, you will have return on investment of 0.3 of 30%. So usually I like to put here either 0 0.2, 0 0.3 return on investment and sell through rate and success rate. You can just leave from min to max. And now the last feature is include similar items. This was added in the latest upgrade of our backend technology. We are not just bringing you the same items, but we also bring you similar items to help you be unique, to help you be creative without using your creativity. We do the creative work for you. This way you can increase profit. You can list a high demand product into high demand niches and you can be unique, bring something new to eBay. So I will click here, include similar items and click the start your scan button. After clicking the start your scan button, you will see your scan here in pending status. You will see the date when it was created, the supplier and the name. After it's finished, you will see the amount of item the autopilot found. Now, this can take between one minute to 10 minutes, depends, uh, but uh, usually it takes very quick. Let's stay here together and see how fast it's come. So if you want to just stay and watch, you can just uh, refresh a couple of times and you see, I just didn't even spoke 20 seconds, I think, and it's already got the result. Test 2022 found 1,191 items. Now, we set a very high criteria, right? We discussed that we want product with at least five sales in seven days, 0 0.3 return on investment, product between 20 to $40, uh, etc., and no more than 15 competitors. And we found 1,191 items with such a strong criteria, such a top selling items. Now, to see the items, you will click here, test 2022, and it will open the scan result. Now, here you get on the left side the eBay photo, the supplier photo, you get the eBay title, you get the supplier title, eBay price, supplier price, sell through rate, success rate, sales, competition, profit, and return on investment. And you see, uh, because we mark the same items and also similar items, so we get a lot of similar items as well. For instance, this knife and this knife. This is a good example for great similar item because you bring something similar but with different color, different materials. But we also have same things here, as you can see, uh, a lot of same products here as well, etc. Now, 
The next step will be to just go and list this product to your store. That's it, as simple as it is. So you can click here, check all items, export selected items, and you get CSV file ready to list to your store. That's it. This is what you do. Your CSV file is here. You get ready to list it to your store. My recommendation to you, always list only ASIN. Don't list the eBay title. First of all, if you use similar items, you cannot list the eBay title because it will never be the same. Second of all, there can be mistakes. You don't want to rely on it. You want to use the supplier title and then later optimize it. So you list the ASIN to your store so you can completely remove everything here. Just delete it. List the ASIN through your listers to your store. And then the product that starts selling, you can open them up, edit them, optimize their titles. Let eBay, let Zeek and the lister do the work for you. You found a bunch of winning products, you list to your store. The one that starts selling, you start to optimize. The one that's not selling in 30 days, you delete. Simple. This is how you do it. We have also integration with different tools like AutoDS, Yabal and DSN tool and Selfix. Um, but uh, I recommend right now to use the CSV file because the integrations are not in the level we would like them to be yet. We are working on optimizing them. So meanwhile, use the export file. Let's go back and see how the autopilot work for AliExpress. So I click on the new scan here again. Now I will choose the AliExpress. Once I choose the AliExpress, there is less filters. I'll put it here, test 2023. And then I will choose the filter. So I will go here for seven days. We'll put five cells in seven days and we'll keep it on the price zero to 20. And then I'll start my scan. Now, again, it's going to take just a few seconds, two minutes. So here it is completed. And the test 2023 found 1,239 items that match our criteria. So I'll click here, test 2023. I'll open it up and I'll show you how the process happened with AliExpress. So with AliExpress, because every product has multiple variations or, or different suppliers selling the same products, we can not just go and pick the exact same product. So we give us the opportunity to choose from this variety. So as you can see, all the products here are products who drop ship from AliExpress to eBay. And you need to go and look on the criteria. So we can see the eBay price. We can see the sell to rate, the success rate, the sales and the competition. And then all we need to do is click here on the item finder button and let Zeek find the item for you. We use eBay. We use search by image technology on AliExpress to find the product. So this is the product, the deep, as you can see, it's selling for $17.49 and you can get it here. Wow, this is crazy. Make $12.50 profit. This is insane. Here you make $10 profit. This looks the same actually. Now, if you want to make sure this is the right product or this is the right profit, I always suggest open the product on AliExpress because sometimes there is uh, added shipping and different information that um, will increase the price here and, and decrease the profit. So let's click here to just see. So yeah, we see here $12.21 is the shipping on top of it. So this is decrease your profit. We're talking here $8. So this is $4 profit. $4 for 17, it's about 20 percent profits right 23 percent profit very good profit so this is how you do it you find the right product you want it you can save it to your folder so you create a folder here or you just choose existing folder clicking save and saving it to your folder or you just list it now if you don't have time all you do is you're running a scan with autopilot you come here you sit down you pick 5 10 15 products you list to your store you move to the next step as simple as it is have you heard you can win one month subscription for zeke analytics for free first like this video Second, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell to get notified for new videos we post. And third, share with us your biggest why. Why are you doing this business? What are your dream goals that you want to achieve with succeeding on eBay? Every week we give away for free one month subscriptions to Zeek Analytics. That means you can win as well. The second feature that will help you beat your competition and mainly will save you tons of time is the bulk scanner. Simply scan any seller and cross compare his item to the supported suppliers, which are Amazon.com, Amazon UK and Walmart. Let me show you how the bulk scanner works. So we're inside the Zeek Pro on the bulk scanner page. As you can see, you can find it by clicking the Zeek Pro button here and going to the bulk scanner. So the bulk scanner simply allow you to scan any seller you found on the competitor research tool and cross compare this item, his item to your supplier items. 
So before I'm going through the interface here and explain you how the bulk scanner here works, I first want to show you the whole process. So I'm going to find a dropshipper who dropship from Amazon to eBay, and then I'm going to scan this dropshipper with a bulk scanner and show you how it works. So I'm inside Amazon. I suggest always put here the, the right zip code. So it's either US or UK zip code for international sellers. Then just go here to any random category. So I will click here baby for instant. Then instead baby, what I will try to do is to find the best sellers. So here you can see the best sellers. And then I will just copy these keywords here, copy the title of this best seller, go back, open the product research tool, paste it in the product research tool. It's important to, to have the right shipping location. If you're from UK or US, make sure you're working with the right shipping location. Click the search button. And what will happen now, Zeke will pull all the listings with the similar keywords, which were probably uh, are listings from dropshippers who dropship from Amazon to eBay because we've searched a title from Amazon. So you see 45 listings here and when I'm scrolling down, I see a lot of pictures, a lot of dropshipper signs. So I will click here the dropshippers only and I will see all the dropshippers you can find for me. Now, what I will do next, I will hit here the scan seller button, for instance, and then I will look into the seller and I will be able to see if this seller is a dropshipper or not. So as you can see, this seller here generate in the last seven days, $10,000 in sales. I can switch it to 30 days as well here if I want to see 30 days data. So 30 days, it generates $41,000 in sales. And when scrolling down, we can see that you have a lot of items. Do you see this little button here, the box with the Amazon uh, logo and then the box with the Amazon logo and the green checkbox? So this is another thing that was upgraded in the latest version, which is we bring similar products and we mark you what are the same product and what are the similar products. So first of all, manual scanner, you can click here the button and we'll find the exact same products and see this product is with $2 profit, so almost 10% profit here. Uh, and the second thing, um, you can find similar products. Now, if you find this seller as a seller you want to analyze, you see you have enough successful listings, you see he has good performance, he works with good profit margins, you can click here the bulk scanner button. If you click the bulk scanner button, it will automatically be added to the bulk scanner. Then by clicking again, what will happen is that you will see the seller here. You will go automatically to the bulk scanner uh, interface and you will see that the seller was added here. And all you need to do is click on the seller name and you will get access to this seller. Now, you have three lists of product. You have matched items, which are the exact same items, similar items and not found items. So in the matched item, we can see all the same items. And then what we can do here, we can checkbox all of them choose a folder, okay, and move move them to one of the folders. So I will move everything to the test folder, click move. It will very instantly be completed. And then you can also check the similar items. So the similar items are similar products. Some of them same, some of them similar. And again, if you want to list them, you just checkbox all of them. You go to the test folder here, you click move. And again, you move all the items. This way you can scan seller, Take all these items, move them to your folder, export CSV file, list them to your store. We even give you the opportunity to add items we couldn't find. So you can manually go to Amazon, bring the ASIN, put your the ASIN, choose your folder, save it to your folder, and we give you the opportunity to cover items we can't find so you can get all the items if you like. A lot of big sellers hire virtual assistant to do this for them. Now, another thing that come with a bulk scanner is the ability to scan five sellers at the same time and send all their products to your desired folder. So I can checkbox all the sellers here, as you can see. Click on scan multiple sellers. Choose all my criteria. I want product with minimum price, maximum price, minimum sales folder, sales date range, and the supplier. Click scan. And then you will get the scans will appear here. And you will get the link to the folders. And you will be able to see how many products move to the folder. Now let me show you how it looks inside the folder. So I will go here to my products open it in a new page. I go to the folder that we've choose for this test. I know I have a lot of folders and it can be confusing, but we choose one particular folder, which is this one, the test. And as you can see here, we have all the products removed, all of them. We're talking here about 600 products, include some product that was here before. And all I need to do now is very simple. Is click here, check all items export selected items. And again, I get CSV with all my items ready to list. Now, the power with the folder 
is that we allow you to edit your titles here. So if you want to put some effort, you can click on the three dots, edit products and edit the titles, and then you can export with edited titles. If you're not planning to do it, I suggest use only the assets and the supplier title. That's all, okay? Later on, what sells, you can optimize. The same like with the autopilot. So this is how the bulk scanner work. And you saw how powerful it is, how quick it is. And uh, we are actually about to release an upgraded version of the Zeek Pro features with new features and new layouts within the next couple of weeks. But I, I didn't want to wait. I wanted to share with you this knowledge, to share with you this information, because as I said, if you scale your store correctly, you can experience exponential growth and you can literally almost create a passive income source because you're automating the whole process. Later on, you can teach virtual assistant to do all of it. And then you don't need army of 10 virtual assistants to manually find products. You just need one to operate the whole system, find thousands of products. Or you can also do it yourself. And that's all because it's very, very simple. Working with automation is powerful, but can also be dangerous. You must know how to control bulk actions. Make sure you list the right amount of products, focus on the right prices and not grow too fast. For this, you need to have a plan in place. How many items you list every day? What are the item price range and profit range? And make sure you're not losing your way. If you will not stick to a plan, you may find yourself growing the amount of active listings without growing your sales and profit. If you are transitioning from manual product research into full automation, using bulk listing, make sure to do it gradually. First, list 10 to 15 items every day. Then from week to week, grow the amount of daily listings to 20 to 25 every day, 30 to 35, 40 to 45, 50 to 55, etc. And of course, you have to make sure your selling limits fits your listing plan. So if your limits are, are low and you can't list thousands of items or you can't list every day 20 items, don't do it because you will finish your limits before the end of the month and you will not be able to list anymore. If you want to learn more about bulk listings and product research automation, please comment below. If there will be more interest, I will make more videos about the topic. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.